Hello guys and welcome. Today I am going to be watching Capone starring Tom Hardy. You might be asking, Tyler, why are you why are you dressed up? Why why have you got a tie on? Why have you got a shirt on? Okay, I'll tell you why. First of all, okay, Al, our dear friend Al is gonna appreciate this. I'm nice and smart. Gives me an excuse to dress up a little bit. I smell great right now. I've done I've done everything. I've done everything. That's not true. I'm wearing jeans. Look at that. What a fucking liar. I was tempted before uh, watching this to read up a little bit on Al Capone, give a more all-round opinion on the piece, on the film. Um, and then I thought, well, I could do that, and I'm not unaware of Al Capone. I know in his later years he got very ill. I know that's what this film is about and what that what this film covers. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go into it blind. And I'm just going to see what I think. For my videos, I, I, I never like to read up on them beforehand because I don't want to spoil that first viewing. I don't want to... I don't want to read about something and then I'm like oh that's what it's about and I didn't know that before and then it informs my opinion so I'm gonna go in blank. Quick disclaimer before we start if I watch this film and I say that I like it or don't like it for a certain reason and you think the opposite because of the same reason you're not wrong you are not wrong just because some idiot on the internet is talking about it and saying this thing doesn't mean that you're wrong for thinking the way that you think even if it's different to what I think it's all subjective and let's all just have a good time, watch the film. And uh, and away we fucking go, mate. Away we go, let's do it. Okay, so straight up just telling me, fair play. And I did know this, I did know this. I did know he got syphilis, that's all I knew. And I know I knew that he lost his mind a little bit. That's, that's all I knew. But yeah, I, I guess there's nothing more to know. I didn't realize they'd let him back out, out of prison. Al Capone is of Italian descent. And I'm really, I'm really sorry, but Tom Hardy does not look Italian, mate. He doesn't, does he? Can we, like, you know... This is very much a case of, like, they wanted Tom Hardy for the role. Straight up. That's it. To fuck hiring, diversely. Slight criticism there. I think sometimes they think hiring someone like Tom Hardy, who is admired, is enough to just gloss over that. You gotta come up with something. Oh, wow. He sounds good, though. Okay, he sounds good. He does sound good. But I do, I do feel like I have to just, you know, come out of it a little bit and just comment on that. You know, they have very much hired him just because he's Tom Hardy and he's just got, because he's got clout. So to a certain extent, you're gonna just see Tom Hardy doing an accent. This is the thing, when you hire recognisable actors for roles like this, yes, you understand why they've got the role because they're marketable. They're going to sell. And it's like, oh, the new Tom, it's exactly what I did. I'm a prime example of it. And, and, and it happens, it does, it works. That's the problem. It works because I was like, oh, the new Tom, a, a new film that with Tom Hardy in the lead, I wanna watch it. And it does work and it annoys me that, that it works, but at the same time, I can still watch it and comment and say like, they've hired, they've hired um, actors that are, that ethnically do look Italian, apart from Tom Hardy. Yeah, it's not great because, quite frankly, whenever there is diversity in a film, it's the side characters. It's not the it's not the leads. It's not the leads. If anything, the leads are whitewashed. I'm not going to go on it to, about it too much, but it's it's an issue, and I felt like I, and I felt like I had to talk about it. But then at the same time, even if they hired anyone else, they would have a chance at disappearing into the role. And Tom Hardy's very good but he's Tom Hardy. And so I'm watching it and I'm like, this is, he sounds great, but it's Tom Hardy. And it, and it takes me out of the film a little bit. It takes me out of the film a little bit. I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving, Dad. Did they let him out to put him back in the game? Try and arrest more people? Was that the, the reason? They must've had an angle. They wouldn't have just let him out to be like, ah, you're not a threat, fuck off. It's an interesting idea for a film, if only because I'm sat here and I'm like, where can they go? Because it's it said at the beginning that it's the last year of his life. He's clearly not okay. What's going to happen in terms of plot? He was just sat in a chair and he weed himself. Like, what what else is there? You know. So, which obviously there is a film here. So, I'm like, where do they go? Is it going to be compelling enough? Is it going to be more compelling than a guy just slowly degrading? I know I said I get it out of the way like a, a, a little while ago, but. I do just want to. I do just want to clarify a few things. Like, it's not that you can't hire white people for roles that ethnically are not white, because I think you can do that. You can do the. You can do the opposite. You can hire black people for roles that historically, like if it's based on a historical person, if they were historically white, you can. You can. You can do that, and that's fine. I don't know. I don't know who it is. Someone's putting on a, a show about Anne Boleyn. The the lead actor is a person of color. 
which Anne Boleyn was not a person of colour. And I was all for that. So that might seem hypocritical of me to say it for one thing, one project and not for the other and be critical of, of a film like this for it. The thing is, you see this happening again and again and again for the last however long show business has been alive and thriving. You see it all the time. And we're only kind of starting, starting to see people of colour be hired for, for lead roles. Let me have a look. Ah, okay, so I just had a look. So it was um, Jodie Turner-Smith uh, was hired to play Anne Boleyn in, um, here in England on Channel 5, a new drama. And I think when, when that historical character isn't tied, or the story and who they are, um, and the story that you're trying to tell isn't tied to race and racial differences um, or racial is issues, then cast whoever you want, which obviously means that by that logic, you can cast Tom Hardy in this role. Yes. However, when you go back to the beginnings of show business and all the way through to now, to the present day, the sad truth is, and having worked in that business myself, the sad truth is I know people that are, are looked over for roles. Diversity is hiring people of color in lead roles. And that just hasn't, been, that, that, that just, say what you want about it, that just hasn't happened. That hasn't been happening. Until maybe the last several years, it's not been happening at all. Now it's a rarity, but it is happening, which is good. So my issue is, again, there's a massive property, a massive film, a massive story about a character like Al Capone. And once again, they've overlooked someone that is ethnically Italian-American for someone who is very obviously not that, who is very obviously white. And... And that's just not okay. Now, I know I know there are going to be, be people watching this that disagree with me. Um, okay. But it is an issue. Having worked in the business, I know it's an issue because I know people who have struggled with this and there is discrimination there. So, so something like the Anne Boleyn show, that, which is a rarity, and it's brilliant that they're doing that. And it is the same thing as this, essentially. But the thing is, that's a rarity. This isn't. This is the norm. And this has been the norm for decades and it needs to stop and so when something so big as this comes along and to see it happen again it's disappointing disappointing also my honest opinion is that if, if they'd hired someone who i didn't know i would believe this a lot more and i would be drawn into it a lot more instead i'm just kind of like oh is tom hardy good in it because i am personally a fan of tom hardy but then it, that takes me out of the film because then i'm like judging tom hardy and i'm not judging the film as accurately or like enjoying the film as much as i could be again if you disagree with me you disagree with me it's okay I, I know, I accept that. Bond! That's explosive, innit? That's like everyone that goes on holiday and packs like the double the amount of underwear. This is what you imagine happening. Yeah, so these guys must come into play at some point, yeah? Honey, sit down. Is that general practice? It's not, is it? To let criminal, is it, is it? In America, to let criminals go if they're this ill. Or was it because of who he is? Or again, was it just because they want to try and like flush out some of his contacts that are still active, maybe? I can be down there Monday. What? Okay, I see what you're doing. You're trying to you're trying to address me. That's fine. Whatever. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. I put in effort. I put in effort. <sighs> I should have gone with the hat. Should have fucking. I hit ten million bucks. Where? I don't fucking know. What a crisis. Oh. That's not misplaced in the fucking tenor, is it? Ow! What have we got? Hey, you fucking bum! That was mine! <laughs> Imagine arguing, like, was it an alligator? Because it fucking nabbed your fish. Yeah, he's not looking good, is he? It's interesting, isn't it? Because, like, there's always that conversation about um, showing people like Al Capone in films. And it was, it was the same thing with when, I know, when the Ted Bundy stuff was coming out. And it's like when you make this kind of, of a thing about a character that is does things in their life that are morally detestable, there is that argument of whether we glorify them by making films about them and, and depicting them in the ways that I think, for example, Al Capone has been depicted, how uh, people like Ted Bundy have been depicted and how they always hire a good looking actor. I know that was the debate when um, I th when Zac Efron was, was cast as him. And I know he was supposed to be uh, magnetic and good looking and all that stuff. And that's not what I'm talking about. My point is, is that this film isn't glorifying him at all. 
which I I like because I'm I'm kind of watching it and I know that he 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 wasn't a good person, but I know as well that he has been. Certain films depicting him in the past, I think, have glorified him to a large extent, and it's like it's that question of like, should we be doing that? So I like. I feel like they've almost made this film to show the side of him that doesn't glorify him. It really doesn't, and it shows that he's just a man. Almost to kind of counter that glorification and that, I guess, historical infa infallibility that I think Capone has garnered throughout the years because of all the media, through, through all the media that has been made about him, which I think is, is good. I think we should be making more about these kind of, kinds of people in ways that don't glorify them. What the fuck? Is this real or is he imagining it? Yeah, but that Emerald City is wide open. It, it's, it's a fucking movie. Hey! What? Okay, so he wasn't there then. Hey! Hey! Who do you think you're talking to? And yes, to be dog on a million beans. Oh, mate, no. And that again? No, no, yeah, don't. Don't do it. The fuck! Yeah. The wow. Shit, oof. I mean, he deserved it, but he is a very ill man. But yeah, so it's obviously set him up. This is the thing. He's such a it's a, he's such an unreliable narrator. So it's gonna be ah, it's it's gonna be one of those films, isn't it, where things happen and it's like, did that happen or did it not happen? Um, how much of it is in 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 his head? Now I'm suspicious. Now I'm so suspicious. Uh, Dick may have been kidnapped. Uh, where are you, sir? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's sad, isn't it? Whatever you think of Al Capone, that this can happen to a person, it's it's really sad. And I'm sure maybe there's some people that think he deserves it for everything that you did. But it's still sad. It's sad to see and to watch. To see someone deteriorate. It's, uh, yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> Anyone's reaction ever. Uh, I wonder if this is him going on a journey to discover where the 10 million is and maybe the cops want to find the money like the cops listening in want to find the money and he's going to remember maybe but it's then is, is the 10 is the 10 million real can't trust Capone can I maybe I can get him to talk with me talk there we go so they're trying to find something whether it's the 10 mil or just contacts yeah so clearly 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 they didn't let him go out of the goodness of their heart I suppose the American government really isn't being kind to him at all. They're putting him through all this to try and wring some information out of him. So this really wasn't a kindness at all, was it? No cigars. Yikes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the cash, okay. They're after the 10 mil. Now that I know why they're doing it, it's interesting because now I'm like, this is cruel. I guess the question is whether you think he deserves it or not as well. I can drop the act now. Oh, mate. Yeah, because I saw the description before this and it was like, is he acting? Is he be pretending to, to be like this or not? So I guess there is that a level of people at least thinking that he's acting. I don't think he is. I wonder if at the end they're going to allude to him acting. Gino and the boys and those fucking Cubans, they're part of this whole fucking thing. Man. Ooh. You can't plant that seed in his head and then fuck off. Is he going to kill those guys? I am now more interested because I'm starting to get a bigger picture. Which, you know, naturally I'm further into the film. <laughs> and trust that this guy's the top. real. Not Shit. Okay, so... Ah, yeah. You're a good man, Fonz. Don't worry, pal. I didn't feel nothing. That was a very smooth hat flip. Holy fucking shit, man. I can't compete with that. He has full-blown dementia. I think I kind of owe it to a 20-year investigation to look in his eyes and know for sure before he's gone. You'd think there's not much you can get from Al Capone at this point. Just let him, let him die. Let him die. But, you know, good on this guy. Father record, state your name, age, and your place of birth. Bold. Yeah, because if that's the thing, isn't it? There is there is credibility to the idea, I guess, of, of him faking it then. I, was, was this genuinely what people thought? I, I guess maybe it was. Which is such a fascinating idea, which is why I understand why they'd make a movie about it, because that is such a fascinating idea, this idea that he's faking. I think the film is, is of the stance that he's clearly not faking it, which I uh, kind of wish they play, played around with that a little bit more. 
and made the audience think, oh, maybe he is playing. I find that so interesting as an idea. You seen fans? No. It's such a weird feeling because there's 19, there's 19 minutes left and I feel like I'm just getting into the film. I think the introduction of the cop and that whole, that, that side of it now makes me feel like we're getting somewhere with the plot and I feel like that should have maybe happened, a bit more of that should have happened previous to this, like half an hour ago, at least, at least half an hour ago because now I feel like I'm just getting into the film and it's just about finished now. And I feel like the film would have benefited from that. It would have picked up a little bit of pace, picked up a little bit of more intrigue. And they were obviously used all their time to focus on, on Tom Hardy and, and Capone himself, which I feel like are the more stagnant bits of the film. And I think it would have benefited from having more of what we just saw with the interview and him and his interaction with his boss. And I think it would have just benefited from that side of the story being told more. <coughs> Oh, yikes. Run. I oh, ain't gonna make it, is he? He's not gonna make that shit. <laughs> Fucking good luck getting near him, mate. <laughs> oh, fuck. There is something, like, really comical about him with the gold gun and the carrot. I feel like the film is making fun of him a little bit. Like, we're supposed to be laughing at him. It's just Tom Hardy now, isn't it? Oh, he imagined the whole thing. That's a little bit like the the Twilight finale, isn't it? Hey man, you survived, okay? That's the best we could have hoped for, let's be honest with ourselves. Oh God, is this, I guess, a representation of his mind going round and round in circles, just forgetting and re remembering again? Got a visitor. You know, was he an estranged son? Was he a son that they didn't know about? Was he a son and they knew about him? Like, it just seems like an errant, an errant thread to the film that's now coming back into it for some reason and, and I feel like I'm missing something. Fair shout. Is this final bit kind of showing a little bit of humanity towards him? Right. So the film was legitimately just like a will he, won't he? And then it was like, nah. Hmm. Okay. So I think to wrap up, my thoughts on the film are these. I'm kind of apathetic towards this film, or I think halfway through I, I was, or like even even two thirds of the way through, I was very apathetic towards the film. As it started to open up more, and I, and I found out more about it, and it started to get fleshed out a little bit more with the with the cops, and uh, and as it progressed, I one I became more favourable to it, but then because of that, because it, it it did add a little bit more to the film that I think it was lacking. But then I think overall, knowing what I know about the film now. I'm not a fan of it, personally. I think I am missing some things just because I don't know as much as someone else might about Al Capone. Because that's the thing, it was essentially like, is the cop gonna get the money or not? And the film's composition was, was geared towards not making that the focal question until maybe halfway through the film. And I think there was, it, I felt a little bit cheated at the end where they were like, no money was ever recovered. So it was like the film then was like, yeah, 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 no, no one found anything. Yeah, we found fuck all. Kind of, it doesn't make the movie pointless, but it, it means that we've gone through all that and then it's like, and then the film was like, yeah, we didn't find anything. We just teased that whole thing and we didn't find anything. But then I think by not including the police and that side of the police and that, and that cop, by not including that as much as they did, it didn't necessarily make the film just about that and building up that which I think probably lessened the blow of that and so I probably feel more favorable towards the outcome of them not finding any money and that essentially leading nowhere because they didn't make it the focal point and, and a bigger deal than they did. You know my thoughts about the casting of Tom Hardy. Um, I like Tom. I don't think this was necessarily a bad performance. I think there was a little, there were there, there were one or two moments where I, I saw Tom Hardy come through. I think again, you know, the general hiring of an actor like Tom Hardy means that you, that, that, that actor can't disappear into the role. I think he did a fucking great job of that though, as much as he could have as an actor. You know my thoughts, you know my thoughts about the hiring of a white man. And I know, I know that not everyone agrees with what I said. I've seen that discussion and I've been, I've seen different sides to that discussion. I think what I think, that's just what I think. But I think the film would have benefited from hiring someone that was more unknown. And I think by casting someone that was more unknown, you could have cast someone that was ethnically more accurate. Just to round that point off, my feelings and thoughts about that decision that they made by saying, 
they aren't necessarily wrong for hiring a white man to play out. In the same way that it's not wrong to cast a person of colour as Anne Boleyn. However, when you take into the overall context of the film industry and how they have cast and how they've hired and how they've how diversity has been represented in popular film for since its inception i think when you take that context into account the hiring of a white man to play al capone is unfair and i think it shows a lack of diversity in a negative way in this in in a way that's not the same as hiring a person of color for anne boleyn that's 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 why to me it's different i would just want to mention the whole the 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 point that I the point that I brought up during the film with the comparison to Ted Bundy and glorifying these figures, I think if the film is like almost a, a letter to counter that idea idea, to counter the glorification of these figures, if that was the intent of the film, I think that's a nice idea. I think that's a nice idea and it doesn't make for an exciting film. It makes for a psychological film, which is what this was, which isn't necessarily hitting beats, I think, that the commercial audience would appreciate or enjoy as much. If that was the intent, and I, and I genuinely don't know, that's my take on it, and I think if that was, then to show this 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 figure in less of a glorious light, less of a, less of a light to admire him by, because this wasn't an admiring film, and I think a lot of the times Capone's depiction was comical we were supposed to be laughing at him we were supposed to be looking at him and and pitying him and not raising him up above and i think that's 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 an interesting take and I, and I like that as a take please tell me what you thought what did you think of it what did you think of the film again i am just some idiot on the internet this is just my take uh, it's not right it's not wrong it's just my take it's subjective did you like it why did you not like it why tell me why other than that, thank you for watching. I do have some links below. I um, have a few, a couple of novellas on the Amazon store currently. So if you are interested, go check that out. It'll be down in the, the description. I think I've said thank you about five times, but thank you. And I will see you in the next one.